For me, sometimes technology just gets in the way. Intro. First thing I want to talk about is the thought of technology getting in the way. And uh, an example is we just recently came from a trip to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, actually, majority of the time during this weekend, we went to Vancouver, uh, BC, Canada. And I was pretty excited about the trip. And one of the things that, of course, being myself, uh, trying to do vlogs and videos and photos for the family and for myself, you obviously brought my gear. And all of that, and I look back at my footage and it's 90% all from my phone. Very few from my DSLR. And actually, when I look at it, probably maybe one or two shots that I was actually able to take out my uh, DSLR camera and take a photo of the family. Too much gear sometimes, it just, it basically, it's almost like a, a golf term, uh, it's called paralysis uh, by analysis, where you just overthink the situation. And um, I think at one point during my trip, I just, I got a little frustrated, just said, you know what, forget it, just enjoy the, my time. In which I did, but you know, being this the person I am right now, I wish I had more footage, more for just kind of information for myself, uh, footage for myself. I was a little disappointed with what I what I wasn't able to accomplish. So, um, in a nutshell, yeah, for me, technology sometimes get, gets in the way. I got all this at my disposal. I'm, I'm fortunate to have it at my disposal, but I don't utilize it. I'm gonna be better about it, which is why I'm doing this a vlog podcast on the road, uh, just putting down my thoughts, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys utilize your phone, your camera? How often are you creating? Um, if you're creating memories for your family, are you actually taking photos, taking videos? And if you're taking photos, one thing that I always like to do is make prints. Are you guys making prints? Uh, just curious. Anyway, just quick thought on, I know I kind of rambled a little bit, but just a thought on technology getting in the way. So that's briefly segment one on this Friday few. And yeah, we'll go on to the next segment. Next topic I want to talk about, and I know it's been over a month on this, but I just want to give my thoughts on the final, uh, basically, installment of the this trilogy of Star Wars and Carrie Fisher. Pers personally, uh, just myself, um, if they had done a CGI Leia, it would not have you know, shocked me. Um, again, don't know if they really want to continue with the storyline that they originally had planned but it would have shocked me and it would have like to me not not make a difference but I wouldn't have made a big deal out of it I know some people would have and and that's okay it's totally fine it's it's your opinion um, but to me again if they had if they do it properly not to say they are gonna do it in this movie but if the thought was they would do CGI Leia if they had done it properly uh, the lighting and just to kind of mask or hide some of the issues with CGI uh, basically characters it would have been okay um, I personally when I saw Rogue One th the character Tarkin it didn't it didn't take me away from the movie I was actually when I saw it at first it it looked great but again I'm not as, uh, uh, I don't scrutinize the, the CGI as much as maybe some other people, and which is fine. Um, again, it's all up, all about the person and what they see uh, on screen. 
it wouldn't have bothered me with a CGI Leia. But again, I don't know what their plans were, and I don't. We will never know. Uh, again, because now they are just going to use old footage. Don't know how it's going to go, but I'm excited. Um, can't wait for the the, the final uh, movie of the trilogy. Uh, Want to see this whole uh, trilogy close out. I have my thoughts on the first two movies. I've enjoyed them. And I am looking forward to this uh, last one. And hopefully I'll enjoy it too. But again, Carrie Fisher, CGI, would have been okay with me. Uh, again, unless, obviously if they had done it, uh, if they do it correctly, they're not going to do it in this one. But if they had done it, did it correctly, I, I would have been fine with it. And also having her in the movie um, J.J. Abrams is going to basically he wants to honor her putting some of those old footage kind of curious how they're going to put it all together but will be uh, kind of bittersweet to see her on the screen one last time so yeah that's just a quick thought on Star Wars and uh, Carrie Fisher and Leia um, we'll see how that all goes anyway um one more segment for this uh, Friday few, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next uh, clip I or segment. Okay, last topic, and just gonna make this brief. If you live in any of these cities, uh, San Francisco, Santa Monica, and you guys have the opportunity to be part of basically the scooter ride sharing service, all I gotta say is. Don't mess it up for the rest of us. You guys are lucky enough to have such a service either from Bird or I believe Uber and Lyft are getting into the game, but just don't mess it up. Don't leave the scooters on the side just anywhere. Park it nicely. Find a place that it should be. And this doesn't just go to those of you who live in those cities, but also those who plan on visiting those cities and using the service. San Francisco has chosen two small companies to be part of this uh, scooter ride sharing service. Uber, Lyft, and Bird were not uh, basically accepted. You know, there could be some thought of monopoly, basically, you know, you already have Uber and Lyft and now you have another type of service. I kind of understand, but again, hey, I'm not the one who decided that. All I gotta say is, again, it's a great service for those who want to use it and need it, but for those of us, of us who want to try it out, let's not mess it up for those who need it or want to use it. Park it nicely, put it in a safe place, just don't litter the streets with it. That's all I got to say. It's unfortunate that those are problems that are currently happening down south in Santa Monica. I hate for it to see that happen here in Northern California, in San Francisco. And part of it also, my little rant is, I guess in Sacramento, they're already having problems with the jump bikes. Yeah. It's just one of those situations where it's a great idea, it can help people out, but yet we completely screw it up. So let's try not to screw it up. All right, that's basically it. And yeah. We will talk to you guys on the next episode. Next week, in a few days, I don't know. All right, bye.